the things you said, every word you wrote, every word I read. Hello, you're watching Dirty Laundry TV. I'm your host, Carrie Kay, and today we have Hutch Harris of the Thermals fame. Hi. Hi, Hutch. How are you? I'm great. I'm really excited. What should I hurt you instead? Whoa. How did you get into playing? Music? Yeah. My dad's a musician. Oh, My dad's okay. a piano player. Um, he wanted me to play piano. He taught me piano or he tried to teach me when I was like seven or eight and I didn't like it and I wasn't good at it. No. But I picked up a guitar when I was like 15 and I liked it. Who were, your, who were your music guys when you were 15? Um, who did you want to sound like? Nirvana. Nevermind yeah. came out when I was 15. So that was... I think we're the same age. Okay, let's not say what age that we're is. We're 27. 27 yeah, years perfect. Old. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that was, you know, I had like, I liked like Led Zeppelin and Guns N' Roses and all the bands, you know, all like the rock bands, you know, before Nirvana, like that's what we would listen to. Then when Nirvana came out, all those songs were way easier to play. Uh-huh. You know, I would try to learn like Guns N' Roses songs when I was like starting guitar when I was like 15 and I just like wasn't good at it. My parents are both really into show tunes and jazz, so <laughs> I grew up, the only rock band in the house was the Beatles, like that's the only rock or like pop music that we listened to. Besides that, it was all just like Fiddler on the Roof and Gypsy and That's the, That was Fantastics. the same in, in my house oh, really? too, yeah. I hear you've been doing some stand-up. I have been, yes. What led to that? That was just something I always wanted to do and I would like, there's a really cool scene, the comedy scene in Portland is really cool mm -hmm. and it kind of reminds me like of how the punk scene was like 20 years ago or something like when I moved there. Like it's just a bunch of like kids putting on shows like in basements and cafes. And Comedy just like, shows? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's There's like cool. a lot of house That's shows. That's kind of starting to happen out here, too. Yeah. Kathy and I played a show last night, and I, we played a house show last night, and there were comedians uh, performing. So, yeah, it was just something I just like, I just like hung out in the Portland comedy scene for years, and I wanted to do it for so long. Yeah. But I was like nervous, too. I think I was scared to do it. Yeah. And eventually I just kind of started doing it, um, and it was like really fun right away. So I just got into it. Kathy and I played music together for like 20 something years. How did you and Kathy meet? So we met uh, at a Grateful Dead parking lot. <laughs> but we had like, Tell me I, had more. Seen her, I had seen her, her friend was selling weed. Her friend was selling weed? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I recognized they were all, her, she and her friends were all in a band together uh, called Pistol. Mm -hmm. um, and I had seen, like, we had seen each other's bands play. This was like right after high school in San Jose. Um, so you were like, I know you, girl. Yeah, she had dreads. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's cool. And she was like, I know you. Yeah. And I was like, hey, can I buy some weed from your friend? <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And then you guys got high and talked about playing music together. We, yes. What's, yeah. what's next? Okay. What's, do you have an exit strategy? Death. Death? <laughs> yes. Really? You're going to play punk rock music until you die? Well, or maybe switch maybe. to folk. No, I mean, I like folk, but I don't know. I mean, death is, is the exit strategy no matter what. Like, right. So, I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll just Neither tour. Neither are we. No one is? Okay, Nobody good. is. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we're just going to do some touring and then die.